So, your new CNC machine has been delivered. The technician's been and he's set it up and you're keen to get machining. You haven't actually decided what tooling you need. You don't really know what to buy and I'm here to try and help you make those initial decisions. I'm Simon from Wield and Tools and here's my view on the tooling you need to get started. So the first thing you're gonna to need to do is fit the spoil board to the machine. You're gonna use standard MDF. I recommend you silicon it down. I find this stops the board bowing. And I also, whilst I'm at it, silicon around the edges of the board to stop the vacuum escaping. This helps with work holding. The next thing you need to do is to skim the board flat. I recommend surface trepanning cutter with disposable tips. Uh, they're about 80 pounds, so it's a quite a high initial investment but the tips are only, well, they're less than two pounds each. Uh, so you're gonna get a lot of use out of this cutter. You'll use it for all kinds of other stuff as well. Anything where you need to flatten something off or create a pocket or, or something like that, you're gonna use this cutter a lot. So it is worth that initial investment. The next tool you'll want is for cutting your profiles. This is a plywood cutter, straight two fluted solid tungsten carbide cutter. They're around about 30 pounds so you won't be heartbroken if you run into a screw they go about eight meters a minute provide a really good finish really good finish on plywood as well you'll use this for all your cutting out needs the next thing i'm going to recommend you have is a v-pointed cutter this one's a disposable tip cutter all the same reasons as the last disposable tip cutter it means you can keep a sharp edge in it with a v-point cutter that's very important because the middle of the cutter is barely going around um, if you imagine the cutting speed on the outside compared to the inside that that point needs to be dead sharp so it's very it's, it's much more efficient to have a disposable tip cutter um, and you can see, you can do stuff like this. We'll do stuff like this. You can do signage. You're gonna make yourself a sign for your workshop door if nothing else, but you're gonna do signage. You're gonna cut patterns, shapes. Um, there's, it's, there's lots of things you can do with this, including putting chamfers on the edge of whatever it is you've cut out. The next tool I'm gonna to recommend you have in your box is a ball nose cutter. This one's a spiral. You're gonna use it for creating grooves like this or pockets where you want a rounded bottom. Um, I would start with a half inch one, 12.7 millimetres. The other kind of cutters to mention are PCDs. If you're in the bathroom or kitchen industry and you're cutting melamine face chipboard, PCDs are what you're going to be using. Now these cutters are, are much more of an investment than the other cutters we've talked about. Uh, we do one that's specific for 18 millimetre MFC. Um, it's, o it's over 100 pounds. You have to be careful with them. If you touch them with the spanner when you're tightening it up or you drop it or you hit a screw, they're very, they're fragile, they're all over. So I recommend that you get started with the plywood cutter first. When you're more confident after a few days, then you might want to order one of these. Start with one of the economy range ones uh, and get, get into using it. You can go very quickly with them. I've got customers going 20 meters a minute, but you'll probably start at 12, which when you're new to CNC machining, looks frighteningly fast. Um, so they are a bit of a step up and I'd wait till you, do, till you get into those. Uh, just one other thing to talk about, and that's collets. I've got a whole video on collets. Uh, your new machine, especially if it's Chinese, is likely to have been supplied with collets that aren't very good quality. And there's very little point in putting up one of our cutters with a, with a, with a, with a shank that's machined to a very high tolerance into a collet that's not machined to a high tolerance. It creates all kinds of problems. But if you could, go and have, another, go and have a look at that video over here on collets and there's much more detail in there. It's worth having a collet brush as well um for cleaning out your collets every time you put a cutter in your machine you should inspect the collet and the shank of the cutter to make sure that there isn't any damage or there isn't any wear and like i say there's more information in the other video check it out so if you've enjoyed this and you found it helpful um please give me the thumbs up uh consider subscribing to our channel we've got loads of other stuff coming out and i look forward to seeing you soon thank you